the sky cuz every single night and every single day I'm a Hello, today I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me on my oh that glare. I don't like it. It's not <laughs> Okay. A chatty get ready with me using my what month are we in? July favorites. Before I get into my makeup favorites, I'm going to talk about some other beauty favorites. So first of all, I've been using this Victoria's Secret ooh, Bombshell Summer. Yeah, Bombshell Summer perfume. Every day. It smells delicioso. Um, it's very like sweet, so I don't know how you'd feel about it if you're not a sweet person, but it smells clean too. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's a clean, fresh, floral sort of smell. Um, what would I compare this to? Like, I have the Bombshell Paris, and this is very clean, and like, it's almost clean in a mature scent, but this is like clean, but like flirty. Like, almost like a little bit florally. Like, so I'm gonna update you guys on my life a little bit, because I got a lot going on, and I need to talk about it. So while I'm talking about my products, I'm just, I'm just gonna vent. You guys are like my little therapy session thing. Aside from the perfume, I don't really have any other beauty favorites. I didn't like find any new lotions that I really like aside from like stuff I've been using. So, um, yeah. So first we're gonna start with moisturizer. So I'm gonna start off with my L'Oreal Hydrogenous Moisturizer. I've been using CeraVe. Um, but since I'm not like going anywhere, like I'm not going out, I'm going to be using this. Um, I've been using a CeraVe, um, moisturizer with an SPF of 30. No, it's not CeraVe. Is it CeraVe or Cetaphil? No, it's CeraVe. It's this one. It's got purple on it. It's the Broad Spectrum SPF Skin Renewing Day Cream. I have to use a, a moisturizer with at least an SPF of 30 because my dermatologist has me on some medication for my breakouts and a couple of creams. And she told me that the medication makes me more sensitive to my, or makes my skin more sensitive to the sun. So I have to have a moisturizer with at least an SPF of 30 on. And she said technically I should reapply, but because like you wear makeup to work and stuff, it's really not feasible. And she understands that, so, um, she said if I'm in direct sunlight all day, like if I go to a water park or like a zoo or whatever, I need to reapply every two hours, so no makeup. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been using that and then diluting it with my Valgene Labs serums because it's like really thick because of the SPF, so I need something to like make it easier to blend. Blend. You know, rub it out, rub it in, whatever you want to call it. Um, because of my treatment course that the dermatologist has me on, I need to use an SPF. <laughs> My favorite primer this month, and you can tell it's almost gone now, is the Becca um, Backlight Primer. So I've been using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter a lot this month. Because I just really want something light for my base because it's just so hot. And like, it's monsoon season, so like some days it's just disgustingly humid. And like, Arizona, like, you know what we say. It's a dry heat. Like... <laughs> So when we get humidity, we're like, ew. Like, I'd rather it be 115 and dry as fuck than 98 and, like, 60% humid or 30% even humidity. Like, I hate humidity. Can't stand it. So, anyway, I've been wearing this because it's really lightweight and it's hydrating. And it really kind of gives my skin, like, a glow from within sort of look. And I really like that about this primer. So, yeah, I've been using it a lot this month. I really enjoy it. It's pricey, but it's a really good primer. Mm, so, for... Concealer, I can't remember if these were my favorite last month too. So if that's cheating, I'm sorry, but yeah, I don't know. So for concealer, I've been using the Fit Me Concealer in 10. I'm shaking. I don't know why I'm shaking. But in shade 10 to conceal my blemishes. And I've been using it in shade 5 to brighten. Ew, like my light is so bad. That's better. In 5 to brighten. So I'm going to use 10 to conceal my breakouts. Um... So, obviously, like, you're probably like, why are you paying a dermatologist if your skin's not clearing up? <laughs> so, first of all, I barely started my treatment probably, like, two weeks ago, I would say. And second of all, so it's obviously going to take some time. And second of all, she told me that um, it's going to kind of get worse before it gets better. So, my skin's going to purge itself out, basically. And then 
it's gonna start to really like get clear and see results but she also told me that because of where my breakouts are it's very possible that my breakouts are um what's it called she also told me that it's very likely that these breakouts are also very hormonal so i have to go start seeing a new obgyn because now i have a monday through friday nine to five job so i can't go back to my obgyn that's in phoenix so i have to find a new one so when i go to her and my doctor sends her all my my information and stuff i'm gonna ask her about a birth control that will help control my acne a little better um because that's what my dermatologist suggested i do so she could tell me no and be like bish why are you doing that your birth control works really well for what it's supposed to work for which it's controlling my cycle very well it's keeping my you know flow and my like cramps regulated all those things it's just not clearing up my acne for whatever reason which is what my original obgyn thought it would do so that foundation i've been using a lot this month i'm all shaking i'm like ah, is the l'oreal infallible pro glow it's very light but a lot of people say it's like medium coverage but i disagree i feel like it's a full coverage foundation especially if you build it it can be super full coverage um normally i mix it with my pro matte um but the past like i don't know i've been wearing it pretty much all month but and like it's 50 50 half the time i'll i'll mix it with my pro matte um because if it's humid I need to mix it with something matte because this stuff is so like dewy and glowy like when it's humid it just goes <clears throat> it just doesn't stay but this is a very long lasting if it's not super humid um because literally i i wear this um sometimes i do my makeup when i go work out sometimes i don't like yoga next week is gonna be really chill so i might wear makeup to yoga next week um and then sometimes I'll wear it to dance. It really just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But I wore this through a Zumba class. And those of y'all who take Zumba, you know, okay? Like, that shit ain't a joke. Um, it, this lasted through a Zumba class. So, you know what? If that don't tell you something about how good this foundation is, I don't know what will. I don't know what will. So, then I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 5 Ivory and brighten i don't know if it will brighten no not really <laughs> not with this color <laughs> it would this is the lightest shade they have in fit me and i love fit me so much i like the age rewind but it's like too dark so the thing i hate about maybelline concealers i don't understand why they do this with their concealers like i don't understand why they don't have a lighter shade because their full coverage foundation that i really like the 24 hour superstay is so much lighter than this so much lighter so i'm just like i don't understand like why can't you extend your front like because they're i think they have like a more intense concealer the one that's in the tube i used to use it all the time because it was the only maybelline concealer that was like um really really like light um it's the like camouflage something camouflage concealer i really like that concealer i don't know why i haven't bought it in a while i think i'm gonna, get, I think I'm gonna pick some up actually because i really like it so i'm gonna place an order on ulta because, you know, that, that Normina palette, though. And those, the Dose of Color release is going to be there this, on the website the same day. And, oh, God, I want that eyeshadow palette so bad. But, literally, it's, like, Dream Street. Like, it's not the same as Dream Street. Like, but it's the same idea. And I just don't... Between that and, like, Not a Basic Peach that I have from Wet n Wild. Like, I just don't need another palette like that. And I have the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. And that has some similar shades, too, to that. Like, I just don't need it. But it's so pretty. But I do want to get a couple of their lipsticks, and there was a lip gloss from that collection I really wanted. So for powder this month, my favorite has been this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And this is in the shade 3 Natural. And I've hit pan, so yeah, it's legit. I really like this powder foundation. It's very, like see how like airbrushed that looks? Like, okay NYX. So, in the world of what is Caitlin anxious about this week, um, I just found out I need a dental implant, and the procedure in itself is really scary to me, but it's gonna cost me close to $4,000 between my dental implant and all the cavities I need to have treated, and I'm, like, really scared about that. I don't know how I'm gonna make payments. Like, I have a care credit card, so it's okay, I can pay for it, but my monthly payments are not gonna be cheap, and I'm just 
really stressed out um so yeah um if i seem ever kind of out of it in my videos i've just been really stressed about it um hopefully things will go well and they will because it's gonna be okay like life will go on you will get the implant and it will be okay but i'm just i'm scared <laughs> so that was one of the things that i was like i have a lot going on in my life right now um so yeah if i ever seem out of it in videos from here on out um yeah but if you would like to see my journey like if you'd like for me to vlog um those things i don't know if i can vlog in the office but i can you know maybe after my appointments and things give you updates if you would like to kind of see that journey let me know because i know a lot of people will really get curious about dental treatments because it's scary and a lot of people want to know what other people's experiences are before they do that do it on their own you know and i understand that so if anybody wants is interested in that let me know um because i kind of want to do it for myself but if you guys would like to see it on youtube let me know i might just do it anyways i don't know <laughs> so i don't really have a favorite for blush bronze or highlight because i mean i've mentioned them in my favorites before um it's just kind of something that's remained static um makeup wise for me so <laughs> Um, for my bronzer, my I'm gonna be using the bronzer butter blah 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 Physicians Butter Blush Physicians Formula Butter Blush Bronzer. Yeah. So for my blush, I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in uh, Plum Rose. I really like that this is a natural sort of shade very subtle now I'm taking the physicians formula shimmer brick and just sticking to these this little corner right here like isn't that stunning like high physicians formula I see you like it's not blinding but it can be it's like you know you can really build it up but yeah i really like physicians formula like a lot i don't know if you know this like their powders i'm not very familiar with their cream products i literally basically buy their butter line and i really liked the shimmer brick that was a recommendation i got from the um i would like to try their spotlight primer and the healthy um foundation thing that they have but um also like i have so many foundations that's ridiculous i'm just gonna take my fix plus and set all those powders down oh, for eyebrows i'm going to be using this brow pencil in medium brown um again it's not really a favorite because i it's like i use this all the time i think i mentioned it in my last week's favorite or my last week's my last month's favorite video i mean it is a favorite but it's like it's been a favorite it's not really like something that's newer favorite you know what i mean i am definitely going to go back to buying taupe because I just don't think this color suits my brows very well. It bl it matches my natural hair, but I just, I don't know. I always think I look weird when my brows are darker. Again, not necessarily a favorite because I mentioned it last month, but this is the e.l.f. Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Light. And I just kind of use that to set the brows down and kind of shape them the way I want them shaped. next is eyeshadow i don't have a favorite eyeshadow palette this month because i've been using a lot of different palettes just like trying to get through my collection really and like make sure i'm using all my palettes but i just got this tart chrome paint shadow in top yacht and it is gorgeous like hold on so obviously i'm gonna have to do my eyeshadow before it because this is like the last thing you do but look at that hello hello like let me swatch that for you this shit is ugh, ugh. like come on you can't deny that that's beautiful like yeah it's 22 dollars like it like hurt my wallet when i bought it but honestly it's just so beautiful i know that hourglass hourglass <laughs> that too um released something similar to this i'm just taking um so this is oh sorry this is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. Found this at Marshall's for 25 bucks, BT dubs. Just so y'all know. And I got a Sweet Peach Lipstick at Marshall's for two bucks. 
Um, so I think that means the Sweet Peach palette is going to be at Marshalls. I'm so excited. I've wanted that for so long. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I'm going to take the white shade right here in Coconut Cream and set my eyes. But, and they look beautiful, but this is, the Tarte one is like $7 cheaper. I don't know though, because this is the only color in the Tarte line that I really like, because I like to have lighter colors when it comes to glitters like that, so I might look at the Hourglass ones, but they're also only at Sephora. And there's a Dose of Colors one I think is pretty, but I just, I don't know, like it's not the one, you know what I mean? So, now I'm going to take, where is it, this big fluffy brush and put um, peanut butter in the crease. Oh God, I went all over the lid. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oops, that's no good. And I'm gonna do a pretty basic eye look because this is basically what I've been doing. Cause it's, when it's so hot like this, like I don't want a ton of shit on my face. Like even lately, like this past week, like not really a whole month so much. But I mean, I've been really anxious this past week too, so I think that's part of it, but I've literally been either doing no makeup or just like foundation and um, powder and then like my brows and mascara. So I'm gonna take Butter Pecan. You can't really see the color. Butter Pecan and highlight my brow bone with that. I'm gonna take the Tarte um, Chrome Paint Shadow in Top Yacht, and I like to apply it with my finger. And I go all over the lid. I'm not doing a half cut crease today. The only thing I hate about it is it gets like on my foundation. So like if that bothers you, do your eyes before you do your base, if you're gonna be using this. Near, I'm gonna take this like pointed brush and use buttercream again to highlight my inner corners. How are you feeling about the Zodiac palette? Cause I think I'm gonna buy it. I think I'm gonna buy it. Cause I just, I really like the concept and I love Kathleen and I love the Dream Street palette. I don't know. Cause I want to get What's Your Sign to the lipstick. I don't know. I just really like it. I'm going to take my Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is definitely my favorite mascara this month. It's very voluminous. It reminds me of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, but I've heard that the Maybelline Full and Soft is a dupe for the perversion, so I think I'm going to try that um, soon. But anyways, I've been using this pretty much every day this month. Really love this stuff. It's very voluminizing, also lengthening. It's just great. It's just best of both worlds. The only thing I hate about it is it's so messy. Like, because look at my tube. Like, it's just so messy. Like, because it's a very wet formula. And I, I mean, I like wet formulas. But not everybody. That's not everybody's cup of tea. But the... See that? I'll just pull that away eventually. It holds a curl very well. Which I really like. Okay, so now that the mascara's done. Um, but yeah, I really like how, like, voluminous the lashes always look. Like, when I do this. And I like... Like, see how well of a curl they have? Like, and that holds all day, which I really like, because a lot of mascaras aren't like that, so yeah. So my favorite lipstick this month, I've been using this a lot, especially since I've been doing really simple looks. Um, I'm using the Stila, I think it's, is it Venezia? Yeah, Stila Stay All Day Lipstick in Venezia. And it's got a little bit of a glitter in there, if you can see it, but it's really pretty. I do really like and I can layer this lipstick and it won't uh, crumble up on me but see how beautiful that red is like whoo girl <laughs> so yeah I really really like this and I like that it's very creamy before it dries down so it's easy to manipulate um, before you're like done applying your lipstick to feel so yeah but if you're looking for a really good um, red like cream lipstick um i don't have one like it because i don't know i don't i haven't really bought an orange red cream lipstick um but i have a l'oreal color that's really bold that i really like i just bought it though but this is everbloom uh 
it's through 254 is that what it says yeah everbloom and it's the l'oreal satin color reach i love this formula it's so moisturizing and so pretty but it's very pretty so it's kind of similar but it's not as vivid but i really like this because it's nice and bold but it's also got that kind of nudie aspect to it so they're really pretty they're only 5.99 and for a while there i bought i had three dollars cash back which is why i got i got like three or four lipsticks because <laughs> you were because then i was getting them at point at that point for like three bucks each so um watch ibotta and see if you can get a deal on this or ulta has them like has l'oreal buy 150 get buy one get one a lot another really bold red that i like which is gonna be hard to get your hands on because it's beauty and the beast um lipstick they have them at nordstrom rack it's the lorac x beauty and the beast and it's in red rose and I really like this. This is very similar to this color. It's got that orangey tinge to it. Very pigmented and it's very moisturizing as well. So yeah, really pretty, pretty, pretty reds. When I was working at Golf and Stuff, I had um, Zoe's Red on from the one of the L'Oreal collections. And my <laughs> my manager goes, ooh, is that Kylie? And I go, nah, bitch, this is L'Oreal. I'm poor. <laughs> it was so funny. So I'm going to finish this look off with my Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. That's an all-time favorite. Speaking of venturing into the all-nighter spray, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, that was my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed the look, and I will see you next time. Bye. Everybody, hands to the sky, cause every single night and every single day, I'ma do my thing. I'ma do my thing. So don't you worry.